Everybody, this is Jedi is 96 back with another Transformers Lego video. And today I'm going to be doing, as in the title, my Transformers Lego Animated Earth Mode Optimus Prime. Yes, here he is. And as you can see, there is no Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime because I took him apart. Well, not totally apart. But I kind of evolved him into this guy, which is a lot cooler than Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime. Because Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime was really fat. This guy is actually pretty skinny looking. Well, kind of skinny looking. But, and he's just a lot cooler. So, yeah. Um, anyway. So, yeah, he kind of evolved. But, again, this one's a lot better. So, yeah. So, here he is in his truck mode in fire truck mode, which I don't really agree with, because he looks like a normal truck. Well, not a normal truck, but kind of one of those ones that has trailers, like he has, or whatever, but yeah. I didn't really make him the fire truck, kind of helps, but anyway, and enough of my blabbering. So, yeah, here he is. Well, I already said that, I'm pretty dumb, <laughs> but yeah. So I'm just going to show a little bit of it. I Instead of having the tires on the front, I put them on the back here, so, yeah, just a little quick thing, and as you can see, he has the little two black windshield parts right there, which look pretty dumb, but he also has, his hands are kind of sticking out right there, you can already see his arms right there, and his head, but oh well, he has a cool grill, uh, and yeah, he still falls down really easily, but he has his axe right there, which is pretty cool, um, he has the, his feet are sticking out too, but he has the kind of leg parts and everything. So, kind of a big hollow part right there, but still. I'm thinking of maybe making a fire truck trailer part for him, but there's not a guarantee on that. But real quick, I'm just going to take off the axe just to show you guys. I think it's okay. It's a little bit small, but I mean, it looks pretty cool because it has the blue on it right here for the main blade part. It's like, wah, wah, wah. Yes, this is my own creation. So, yay. Yay, on creation axe. Woo. And yeah, that black part is just the connector part so it can hook onto there. But yeah, I'm just going to put that aside. Well, yeah, it can just, it goes right onto there. That's it. Well, actually, let's just take that off. A change. The first change in one of my videos. Now it can just be like that, and it can just click on like that. <laughs> I'm stupid. Anyway, uh, not really that much else about the vehicle mode. So let's go to the transformation. Mm. Okay, first what you do is you flip this down. It'll be like this. Flip the waist around and everything. Then you flip up the feet on the legs. Makes it look pretty cool, I think. Um, it's going to give him some elevation here with a Rubik's Cube. Yay! And then you, um, you should flip the hands out first, but I like just flipping up the head first, just because it, sometimes the arms can hit it and make it flip up anyway, so you flip the head up, then you flip the hands up off of here because it just makes it more secure when they're down and everything. You just kind of pull them out, adjust them, yes, they are bion um, bionicle hands, and practically all this part, of the arms are practically just bionicle parts. So, yeah, I know people don't really like putting Lego, or I mean Bionicle parts on Lego Transformers, but I don't really care, because it looks cool, and makes the arms have more motion, I mean, not emotion, <laughs> more articulation and motion, because I said emotion, I'm stupid, but yeah, so there he is, pretty simple, um, I think he's pretty cool, probably, um, maybe even my best Lego Transformer, even though he's still not very good, He's actually already my favorite, even though he's, like, I know, uh, seems like just because he's my newest one, he's my favorite, but no, even if he was one of the first ones I, um, would have made, he would still be my favorite, because I just think he really looks cool. I'm very happy with him. Much better than the crappy Cybertron mode one. So, yeah. Kill Cybertron mode. Woo! Anyway, uh, so now for articulation, he is pretty articulated, amazingly. Ways can go all the way back there, do the transformation, can twist around, do the transformation. Legs can bend, just because I wanted them to. Um, his feet can flip down and up, also flip down to do 
or do the transformation. But, yeah. Um, arms. One arm can go up while the other just stays down, so it's like we. I'm deformed. Uh. Kind of hard to flip it back down. But anyway, so arms can also go all the way back here and around, up there, back there, back there. His hands can twist, go down everywhere because they're all on ball joint practic ball joints practically. And his head can move side to side, well, 360 degrees. But I'm gonna make a custom sticker for the face mask. This head just fell off because. I mean, it's the same on the, both sides, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, the eyes are right there, top of the head. Face mask is that gray part. So I think his head is okay. Um, I think he looks pretty cool. You can get his axe, slide it right into his hand. It is pretty small, but it's still a pretty cool axe. So yeah, it can be like that, so he can be like, oh, I have an axe. Yeah, the axe isn't very good. I'm going to try to make a better one. And I did take apart the other one that Cybertron Mode Optimus Prime had. But yeah, I didn't really need to. But I did. So, yay! So, yeah, there he is. I'm going to just do a quick size comparison with animated lockdown here. Um, sorry about the vacuum. But he is taller, or lockdown is taller than, uh, Primey here. I don't know why I just called him Primey. I'm just going to call him Prime. So they're saying Optimus Prime. It's just too long. Yeah, they should just call him Prime. It's a good enough name. But anyway, um, Voyager animated Grimlock, the actual toy. He's actually taller than him. That's an accomplishment. Yay, he fell over. That's an accomplishment too. Not really. It doesn't really stand up very well, also. Sorry about that. But yeah, he is amazingly taller than Voyager Grimlock, so he's about as big as his um Voyager toy counterpart. Yay! So, it's a big ex Sorry about the screeching. But that's an accomplishment. He's taller than a Voyager. Yay! So, pretty cool. About the size of the Voyager, except for, well, in truck mode, he kind of looks like he's a deluxe. He feels like a deluxe. But in uh, robot mode, he's not as big as a deluxe, but as tall as one. Yeah, it's kind of confusing, but still. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. More LEGO Transformers to come. I got a request for an animated Starscream, which might take a while because I'm really I'm running really low on pieces. I might end up not being able to do it. So I think it was LEGO Transformer Freak or somebody. I'm sorry if I got it wrong, but somebody requested it. I'm sorry if you're watching. Um, yeah, I might not be able to do it because I'm just running terribly low on pieces. Uh. So, yeah. And I also got, uh, from Lego TF Guy, if you're also watching, um, I'm sorry, uh, because he asked for a Headmaster Chrome Dome. I typed it in, and he's just way too big, because, like I said, I'm run running really low on pieces. Making an animated Starscream is enough, but plus a big Headmaster just won't, won't work. So, very sorry to Lego TF Guy, um, because I said I would try, but I just can't, because I'm running terribly low on pieces. So I'm very sorry to TF, um, LEGO TF guy, uh, whoever requested the animated Starscream, I'm sorry I forgot your name, but yeah, I will definitely try on him, just because he's not very big, or whatever. Maybe a mini Starscream might work, so that's okay. But anyway, so thank you guys for watching, uh, so yeah, like I said, more LEGO Transformers to come, I don't know what else, maybe some more stop motions, I don't really know, but yeah. So, see you later, YouTube. This is Jared96 signing out. With Optus Prime. Ah, angry mob. Ah.